on the news and in social media lately, I've been seeing a lot of um, a lot of upset, a lot of pushback that Americans, that white Americans, really only care about refugees if those refugees are also white, if they also come from the same backgrounds, or if we see them like ourselves, because there is um, a racism. Uh, that is part of our interactions with refugees. And while I do believe um, that it is often true that we are more compelled to help people who are like us, um, one of the things that I want to point out um, is that BHSS doesn't just care about refugees when they come from Ukraine, which many of our ancestors came from either Ukraine or places close to or very much like it. Um, but we have been committed to standing by refugees, to supporting refugees when they come from Syria, when they come from Afghanistan, when they come from many places, when they come from South America, from different countries there. And while we pay a lot of attention to what's going on in Ukraine and the refugee crisis that's happening there and the war that's happening there. I am um, I'm really quite proud to say that the BHSS community cares about a diversity of people. We care about humanity and we care about making sure that people, whether they look like us, whether they act like us, whether they believe like us, are treated with dignity. And we don't just do that because you're wonderful and caring and kind people, although I know that to be true. We also do this because it is the Jewish thing to do. Rabbi Lord Jonathan Sachs, Zichron Oliv Racha, may his memory be a blessing, whom I quote quite a lot, uh, says in his text, Faith in the Future, the Hebrew Bible contains the great command, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. That's in Leviticus. And this has often been taken as the basis of biblical morality. But it is not. It is only part of it. The Jewish sages noted that on only one occasion does the Hebrew Bible command us to love our neighbor. Right? But in 37 places, it commands us to love the stranger. Our neighbor is one we love because he is like ourselves. The stranger is one we are taught to love precisely because he is not like ourselves. One of the things that I appreciate about this community is your willingness to take a moment, to be introspective, to think, yes, about where our faults are, where does racism or xenophobia play a part in how we behave in the world? And when do we step up and do the right thing? And I want to thank you for over and over again, loving your neighbor as yourself, but also loving the stranger for stepping up and taking care, um, drawing attention to and making contributions to the greater plight, the greater good for people who look like us, who think like us, who believe like us. How much the more so am I proud of you for when you do it for people who are not like us, but because it is the right thing to do.